everyone. Today we, the students of grade 9, are here to present a little something about mental health and how it is affecting people during this pandemic. Mental health is the level of psychological well-being or an absence of mental illness. It is the state of someone who is functioning at a satisfactory level of emotional and behavioral adjustment. It is all about how people think, breathe and behave. Mental illnesses are health conditions involving changes in emotion, thinking or behavior. Mental illnesses are associated with distress and or problems functioning in social, work or family activities. It is common. Around the world, coronavirus has seen a rise in domestic violence and the mental and physical harm that comes with it. Financial insecurity and domestic violence are force multipliers by the impact of mental health problems, turning manageable problems into crises. So is the isolation of lockdown. Flaws to strength. They said I'm a loser. Said by my abuser. By listing out my flaws. Little did they know they were against the laws. The more hatred I got, the more scared I got. Just praying to the God with the word why. Looking up to the big blue sky. Telling them to stop the distress. Breaking the silence. Let's be calm and shut the violence. Raising up the voice by our own choice. Stepping up the right thing. Cutting off the wrong string. And flying with our own wings. Speak up. Speak out. Show them what mental illness is all about. Changing the flaws to strength. Not making it intense. Kill the offense and stop the suspense. No matter how many consequences you go through, you should always have a clue. Be strong, be you. Mental health statistics show suicide is the 10th leading cause of death worldwide. Globally, 800,000 people die due to suicide every year and suicide is the second leading cause of death amongst the people aged 15 to 29 years. Mental disorders including depression, anxiety disorders, bipolar disorders, etc. are some of the risk factors. Mental health problems can have a wide range of causes. It's likely that for many people there is a complicated combination of factors. Although different people may be more deeply affected by certain things than other. If you don't have hope for the future, you may think suicide is a solution. But it is not because there is more to life than merely living. No amount of anxiety can change the future. No amount of regret can change the past. It's okay to be scared. Being scared means you're about to do something really, really brave. Worry never fixes anything. Your present circumstances don't determine where you can go. They merely determine where you start. It is during our darkest moments that we must focus to see the light. Life is 10% what you experience and 90% how you respond to it. At times like these, when the world feels upside down, kindness can be the key to turning things around. You see, kindness has the power to create community, support and hope. A helping hand says you're not alone when you face that upward slope. Of course, being kind is always the right thing to do. But did you know that doing good is also good for you? You see, a little act of kindness can boost your mental health. You can lower stress and cheer your mood to think of someone else. And of course, don't forget to be kind to yourself. It doesn't have to take a lot, because even the smallest spark can be the thing to light the way when someone's world feels dark. 
So make that call, share that gift, send some happy posts. Remember, kindness matters most. Prevention. Promote multi-stakeholder collaboration to advance local, national and global efforts in favor of good mental health. Create policies that ethically frame and guide the use of new technologies and data for early diagnosis and prevention of mental illness. Improve access to mental health care and encourage the development of novel drugs and therapies for the treatment of mental health conditions. Improve care pathways and insurance schemes for treating specific mental disorders by defining and adopting standards of care. Increase the number of mental health specialists and train non-specialists to deliver mental health care at the community level. Quarantine makes me sick to my bone. This boredom hurts more than a kidney stone. Now, living feels like a chore. A patty for anything has shook me to the core. Eat, sleep, yawn, repeat. Human interaction feels so obsolete. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Positive feelings are very few and our eyes lost its glow. All this stress on my chest, feeling like one flew to the cuckoo's nest. Nothing can distract me from the pain. Can't help but feel the hurt and restrain. Anguish is haunting. Now, managing feels daunting. A fear of the unknown makes me sick to my bone. It hurts more than a kidney stone. But have to stay in the house and do such stops, whatever it takes to stop the virus. Encouraging family not to go, playing old songs in the stereo. In this pandemic ought to play a role so that there will be harm no more.